Well, he's he's that is something that he's been kind of on a, a on a crusade for recently, kind of raising the idea that the inflation is actually coming from these major companies that are like keeping the you know same price but reducing how much is in that of that product so mm -hmm. like less chips in a bag that sort of thing um but yeah that's been a smaller a, cadbury egg maybe. it's actually a smaller yeah. cadbury egg uh -huh. and um and so that's something that i think we're going to hear more about going to the election from uh biden and democrats and of course we're going to hear more and more about inflation for from republicans because it's an issue that has really galvanized public opposition to the president welcome to reporter's notebook where we talk to the washington examiner's top journalists about the stories breaking on their beats. I'm Jim Antle and I'm joined today by economics reporter Zach Halishak. Zach, we've seen some figures about inflation, some of the various metrics that are used to judge inflation. What are they telling us? Yeah, so one recently that just came out for February is the PCE index, which is the Fed's preferred index. Um, so that's kind of the index that the Fed's using to decide what to do with interest rates next. And that actually showed that inflation increased a little bit last month, mm -hmm. which is certainly not good news because the whole reason why the Fed has interest rates so high is to drive inflation back down to that 2% level. So in that gauge, inflation is running about 2.5%. Mm -hmm. um, so there's needs to be more progress um, on that in order for the Fed to start consider cutting rates. Um, and, and that kind of estimate of when that would happen has been pushed back and pushed back. Uh, just a few months ago in like December, they would have said that we would already have a rate cut by now, and now it's looking more like June or even as late as September. So inflation had some people hopping mad over the Easter holiday. What sort of were the complaints? Yeah, so, I mean, it's an election year, so everything's political. Um, mm -hmm. that, that includes the economy. Um, and Republicans really kind of used Easter holiday to attack Biden for, uh, President Biden for uh, high inflation. Uh, we saw a similar occurrence back in Thanksgiving mm -hmm. where they were going through the different items on the food table and how much more they cost now than before when. Um, so they kind of did the same thing with that. I know the Republicans on the budget committee put out a release, uh, former President Trump put out a release mm -hmm. um, a statement on the matter. So just kind of like using any opportunity uh, to attack Biden for high inflation. And Biden didn't shoot back with shrinkflation? Well, he's, he's that is something that he's been kind of on a, a, on a crusade for recently, kind of raising the idea that the inflation is actually coming from these major companies that are like keeping the you know same price but reducing how much is in that of that product so mm -hmm. like less chips in a bag that sort of thing um but yeah that's been smaller a smaller cadbury egg maybe. it's actually a smaller yeah. cadbury egg uh -huh. and um and so that's something that i think we're going to hear more about going to the election from uh biden and democrats and of course we're going to hear more and more about inflation for from republicans because it's an issue that has really galvanized public opposition to the president so another important economic indicator that people like to look at is the jobs market. We've seen some things that are a little maybe contradictory on that front. What are some of the latest numbers telling yeah. us? So overall, the labor market's been quite strong despite mm -hmm. the higher interest rate environment. Um, but this past week, we saw the highest number of jobless claims since uh, January, I believe it is. So in a few mm -hmm. months. Um, on the other hand, last month's job openings report showed very high amount of job openings, which would kind of indicate that there's not these layoffs happening because sure. people are able to get and find a job. I think taken on balance, even though the jobless claims were the most since January, they're still relatively low right. in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. um, but the question is going to be whether the labor market can keep holding up like that as um, we get closer and closer to the election and interest rates remain high. Um, and it's kind of a Fed trying to thread this needle on bringing down inflation without crashing the economy by keeping rates too high for too long. All right, trying to stick this off landing. Thank you, Zach. That's right. You can read Zach and the rest of our policy team's coverage at WashingtonExaminer.com.